What's up everyone, it's Optech coming at you today with a cool unboxing and review of this pretty awesome looking mechanical gaming keyboard from Corsair, the K65 Lux RGB. It has a compact design, so it's that tournament style keyboard, so it's 10 keyless, so it has no number pad, so if you want a little bit of extra space or find yourself hitting your mouse into your number pad on your current keyboard, this compact tournament style layout could be for you and this K65 Lux has everything you could want out of a keyboard. So without further ado, let me go ahead and unbox this and show you all the features and the amazing design elements that are packed into this Corsair K65 Lux RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. So this has the Cherry MX Red switches. So those are linear and smooth, have an actuation force of 45 grams and they actuate at two millimeters. Okay, here we go. Dun dun! So, like I was saying, this keyboard really has it all. So let me go ahead and show you what comes in the box here. So the guide, you've got that rubberized wrist pad, which is really nice that that is included. Hope you guys can see that there. And let me go ahead and take the plastic off of this keyboard so you guys can get a much better look at this layout and also give you a little quick sound test of what you can expect from these Cherry MX Red switches. And also show you this these large lettering on the keys, which I think is a really cool feature. And you see that they're clear, so the RGB light is really gonna come through with lots of space in that clear text on these keys. We have here some extra keycaps. You can put uh, for mobile keys or WASD keycap puller. And it looks like we have a two meter braided cable here. and. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a sound test. Hope you guys are getting a look, good look at this really cool looking keyboard. So, so there's no there's not a tactile bump like you would get with browns or blues. So it's just linear, smooth, straight down, actuate at two millimeters. So the red switches seem to be a top choice for gamers and streamers because they're not very loud and they have the lowest actuation force of all the cherry switches at just 45 grams which is comparable to the Browns, but they don't have a tactile bump. So here's what it sounds like without the keycaps. Again, you can't really hear much. Here's with the keycap on. So you hear more just, you hear more just the bottoming out more than anything else. So you could, you know, you definitely could rapid fire with these. Also take a look at the rapid fire keyboard if you want something that actuates a little bit sooner at that 1.2 millimeters as opposed to the two millimeters on this K65 Lux RGB. So this has a brushed aluminum frame, which I really like. It's just a solid frame that goes all the way down the keyboard. So yeah, good luck bending this, not happening. So very sturdy. You get these, the feet on the bottom. If you wanted to prop this keyboard up, give it a little bit of an angle. You have volume control up here at the top. Volume down, volume up, mute. Adjust the brightness for the keys and a Windows lock key. So in the back here, you can see that you have a USB pass-through and you have the BIOS polling feature, which is a really nice feature to have. Well, that's enough for the initial examination. Let me go ahead and plug this into the PC so you can take a look at all the lighting effects. That's what Corsair is really known for, having just that extensive 16.8 million color option. Lighting effects that are customizable for your game, CSGO, you name it. And like I was saying, they really shine through with these keycaps with that really large font on the keycaps. All right, so here we have the K65 Lux and you can take a look at that amazing lighting. And I wanna do a little size comparison to my Logitech G710 Plus. You can see what it's like, comparatively speaking, size-wise to a full-size keyboard with number pad and with some dedicated macro keys. And as you can see, it comes in a bit smaller and you do save a lot of space. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and go through the lighting effects. So this is Spiral Rainbow and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Rainbow Wave. Get a good look at that. This is Visor. Visor's pretty sweet looking. Might get a little distracting. Here we have Rain. Rain's obviously really sick. Color Shift. Color Shift might be a really popular choice. We see this on a lot of different lighting effects software. Here we have Color Pulse. This is just kind of a breathing effect. Color wave, looks like visor, just a little thicker though and changes colors. Here we have type lighting key. So this is probably gonna be one of my favorites. So obviously the keys light up 
as you hit them, which is pretty awesome. And you can set how long you want the duration um, of the lighting to last after you press them. So here I have it set on long, so it lasts a while. You can have it on short. Uh, right now I have it on random colors. You can set it to alternating colors. So lots of customizability within this Q software. So here we have the typing ripple, which has always been my favorite because it's just so interactive. Really can just have so much fun hitting different keys as you can see here. Okay, let me not get too distracted and keep going down here. We have playback visualizer, so I'm assuming if you're playing audio, um, it'll play to that. Microphone visualizer, pretty self-explanatory. Static color, if you just want something really simple. And one more thing, guys, with that USB pass-through, I know Corsair just announced the Corsair Polaris, which is that really cool mouse pad that also lights up, so you could pair the lighting with your keyboard and your mouse and your mouse pad now. So be sure to check that out and I'll be sure to leave links in the description box down below for this keyboard, Logitech keyboard, as well as the mouse pad when it's available. So what do you think everyone, best compact gaming keyboard on the market, got the RGB lighting, all the features you really want in a tournament style keyboard. You let me know in the comments down below. And as always, please be sure to smash that like button to help my channel grow. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, Awe of Tech, what are you waiting for? Get subscribed and check out some of my cool tech videos on my Awe of Tech channel. This is John from Awe of Tech. Can't wait to catch you guys in the next video.